Hi, I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV Travel Quest. So this is Robin Sherry from RV Travel Quest. And we thought we'd share with you today what we've been doing to our Montana fifth wheel to move into full-time living in this in three weeks. Mm -hmm. and so what was the goal? The goal was to uh, limit the amount of clutter and so the ultimate goal is to have our countertops as free of clutter as possible. And so that, that's, I'm probably the worst about putting things on tables and, and having too much junk. So our biggest worry was our workstations. So what we wanted to show you a very simple way of modifying your table to accommodate your office without having to take up your whole table all the time so you could actually eat dinner. So to keep it simple, we went to Camping World mm -hmm. and we ordered two of these little tables that fold out and we eliminated two chairs. We took two chairs out, got the tables. And that's it. I mean, it, we didn't have to get sophisticated at all. It was kind of nice. Right. So, would we pay about $19 a table? Yep. You get these at Camping World. We put our laptops in here. Uh, sh the funny thing is, um, it worked out good because these tables are wide enough that the mouse fix fits at the end of that one. And yet, when I use mine, I, I put the mouse on the table. But when it comes to dinner time, everything can be moved out of the way. It's off to the side, and we're a little bit fortunate because I'm left-handed, <laughs> so it makes it easier for me to, I use my mouse right-handed, but I write left-handed, so I can actually, as I turn to work on my computer, if I have my information, I can still easily write without having to work, and with Rob being on the other side, him being right-handed, he can do the same thing. It makes it really easy when it comes to dinner time, because we really don't have to remove our computers at all. Um, you know, I can clear up my file and then we can actually increase our table's uh, length. Simple as that. We've extended it. We've got a nice area for our dinner still. I know. Well, let's uh, look at some of the other changes we're making. Okay, so as you can see, this is our dining room com uh, workstation with our computers. It makes it nice and simple and easy. Some additional modifications that we have made is over in this area here. We used to have two recliner chairs and with my husband and I, uh, it's just the two of us. We really didn't need all the additional seating because we also on the other side have a full couch. So we took one of the recliners out. And in addition to it, we have a full-size dog, Cinder, our chocolate lab. And so we have set up a kennel for her here. This allows her her place to go in. We can keep her when we have to leave the RV. But it also gives us additional room on top here. So at some point in the future, we may use it to put our printer on top here, or we may decide to um, put some of our camera equipment, or uh, Rob is doing some podcasts, we may put it here, or we have another area here where we might choose to put it. Um, we also have a cat, our kitty Li Lily, and I've used under the counter here as a place to keep the cat box out of the way. This is also a good place for us to use our charging station uh, for our cell phones, tablets, uh, Kindles, reader, everything here. And then if we keep going around, we have our TV, and then we have another full section over here, which here again we could use for a printer, a wireless printer if we chose to do uh, so. But it gives us lots of room to um, add additional equipment in here if we needed. And then if we go all the way around, then we have an, a full couch. Uh, so for just the two of us, we've got plenty of seating, we have plenty of space, and we've maintained our kitchen areas being open, 
Our dining room is open, but we still have all the amenities of a, a nice, clean office. So this is the other side of the rear of the fifth wheel. This is where we have a couch. And once again, because there's only two of us here, we have a full couch here, a single recliner on the other side. That's plenty of room for just the two of us. Now going on into the kitchen area, we have this lovely little bar that has seating area we can pull out and if we wanted to play a game of cards or whatever it'd be great we can uh, a little more intimate here and stuff but the goal here was to try to keep this area free of clutter as well and once again we've done our best to find ways to keep this area clean by the office space and having some additional shelves and stuff put in so in the kitchen area we haven't really modified it too much. We have our, our counter, the L-shaped counter, and here again, our goal, keep everything off the counter. There's tons of cupboard space here, so I really haven't done any modification here. One of the other simple, simple things we've done is I just put a couple little hooks at the end of this cupboard here, of which we can hang our dog leash and collars and car keys and stuff and once again it helps us to keep our counters clean. So I want to thank Sherry for showing us around. Um, I've been very impressed with the fact that I'm probably the messiest person in the RV and she's put together some good processes for us to stay organized. I'm sure there's going to be more but uh, are you happy with what we've done so far? Yeah I'm, I'm really happy. You know I if I had my perfect uh, ideal situation haven't come up with it yet is this is really works good for our workstations however because we're using this a workstation a dual workstation slash dining room area if I had my preference these chairs that we have here I would make them a swivel chair to where they're still nice and appealing you know uh, for the comforts of the dining room table, but at the same time it'd be nice if they could swivel so when we are working that we could actually swivel yeah. it to, to, to turn this gray. Yeah, that would be nice. So that would be really nice, however, haven't found anything like that yet. Um, Ikea. Uh, but we're still on the search. Yeah. So I hope that was uh, helpful to you. Um, big part we're trying to do is get rid of clutter. We have, like we tell most people, go out in your RV first, do some extended stays. If you're going to full time in the future, keep testing it. Keep testing the process. Stay out as long as you can. Find out what problems you have and what habits you have. Everybody's got different habits. And so I think that's kind of what we're discovering is mm -hmm. uh, our good and bad habits and then adopting processes that work so we can stay organized, which takes away a lot of stress. Yes. So from RV Travel Quest, I'm, this is Robin Sherry. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. And by the way, what are you waiting for? Bye now. <laughs> Bye.